I have a dream. One of the most iconic speeches in American history. Hello friends, my name is Poonam Dua and today we are going to cover this very special speech delivered by Martin Luther King. Let us proceed to the video and let us know what makes the speech the most special. The first thing, this is part of Delhi University American Literature course. Semester 3, paper 5 is the title and rest of the videos of the same subject, you will get at this link. Very good topics choose ki hai university ne is subject ke under. Let us know a bit about this landmark personality, born 1929, died 1968, actually assassinated. Martin Luther King Jr. was an American Baptist minister and activist, one of the most prominent leaders in the civil rights movement from 1955 until his assassination in 1968. We will get to know all about his assassination, all about this landmark speech, I have a dream. Let us know the story behind assassination. He was assassinated that I told you already in 1968. Martin Luther King Jr., an African American clergyman and civil rights leader, was badly fatally shot at Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee on April 4, 1968 at around 6 p.m. By that time, he was a very prominent leader of the civil rights movement and a winner of Nobel Prize, who was known for his use of non-violence and Civil Disobedience. James Earl Ray. This was the name of the person who assassinated him. James Earl Ray, a fugitive from Missouri State, was arrested on June 8, 1968 at London's Heathrow Airport and was sent to US and charged with the same crime. On March 10, 1969, he pleaded guilty and was sentenced for 99 years, 99 years in the jail. He later made many attempts to withdraw his guilty uh, plea and to be tried by jury, but always remained unsuccessful. And he died in prison in 1998, 30 years after his punishment. Let us know the background of this speech. I have a dream. In the shadow of the statue of Abraham Lincoln, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. brought his now famous I Have a Dream speech on August 28, 1963 as part of the March on Washington. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech is, I'll say, one of the most famous, one of the most celebrated speech, one of the most celebrated oratory pieces in American history. He delivered the speech from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. on 28 August 1963 as the final speech of the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. Jobs and Freedom. That was the main purpose of this march. So the occasion of the speech was March on Washington, which saw around 2,50,000 Listen again, 2,50,000 African-American men, women, children gather at the Washington Monument in August 1963 before marching to the Lincoln Memorial. They were marching for several reasons. Bahasari reasons, the major one was jobs. Many were out of work actually, but the main reason was freedom as well. Freedom. King Martin Luther King and many other civil rights leaders sought to remove segregation of black and white Americans and to ensure black Americans were treated the same as the white Americans. This was also one of the major purpose. Lagbhag in phrases ke saath speech ki shuruat hoti. 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. Beginning with a reference to Emancipation Proclamation, which declared millions of slaves free in 1863. If you know a bit about uh, Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln in 1863 made a lot of Negroes free. So, King said, he started his speech. 
100 years later, the Negro is still not free. वो फ्रीडम शायद सिर्फ ऑन पेपर थी बट नॉट इन रियलिटी इमेंसिपेशन प्रोक्लेमेशन जिसकी मैं बात कर रही हूँ इट वॉज एन ऑफिशियल प्रोक्लेमेशन दैट वॉज प्रेजिडेंशियल प्रोक्लेमेशन एंड एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑर्डर इशूड बाई यू एस प्रेजिडेंट एब्रहम लिंकन ऑन जनवरी फर्स्ट एटीन सिक्सटी थ्री ड्यूरिंग द सिविल वॉर एटीन सिक्सटी थ्री में जो सिविल वॉर एंड हुई थी उसमें डिक्लेयर किया गया था कि मिलियंस ऑफ स्लेव विल बी सेट फ्री so they were set free slavery is illegal by now but the segregation but the uh, you know uh, the kind of partiality is still going on so the king martin luther king opens the speech by stating he is happy to join the audience in a demonstration of freedom standing in front of lincoln memorial king notes the emancipation proclamation was signed 100 years ago itne sare logon ke beech mein unko speech dene ka ek mauka mila hai he is happy but he says ki 100 saal beet gaye hain but uh, the freedom i think was on paper the negro is still not free black people according to him were still not fully free as they lack the same material benefits and other benefits uh, which are availed by rest of the americans the march was designed to draw the attention to this fact that some sort of segregation is still going on the marchers all the people who participated were there to remind the nation that the present is the time to act ab act karne ka waqt aa gaya hai bahut ho gaya hai 100 saal beet gaye americans should not fall for the trap of making slow and steady progress progress ho rahi hai lekin wo itni slow and steady hai and specifically not for the blacks instead america must today fulfill the promise of democracy and racial justice america ne 100 saal pehle ek promise kiya tha ki democracy hogi social level par racial level par justice hoga but at least racial level par justice hota kahin nazar nahi aa raha king interrupts to warn the audience that the road to freedom must not be laid by bitterness hatred or bad behavior he was completely you know against violence jaise india mein mahatma gandhi the non violence uh, moments chalai thi unhone hamesha unhone sath hi sath bheed ko king ne bheed ko ye bhi warn kiya ki hame kisi bhi tarike ki bitterness hatred bad behavior violence ke through apni baat nahi pahunchani instead those seeking freedom must hold themselves to a higher moral standard and meet acts of violence with act of love and faith baaki sab log agar violence dikhate bhi hain to aapko uska jawab love aur faith se dena hai it is a good thing black people are now militant about their freedoms militant ka matlab ye nahi ki violence kar rahe hain but you know aware about the freedoms but they must recognize that there are white people in the crowd who have joined the march and who see the struggle for freedom लिंक टू दैट ऑफ ब्लैक अमेरिकन तो वो कहते हैं कि देखिए आपकी भीड़ में ब्लैक लोग तो हैं ही लेकिन उसके साथ कितने व्हाइट लोग भी हैं व्हाइट हु आर सपोर्टिंग यू व्हाइट हु अंडरस्टैंड योर ट्रॉमा सो ब्लैक पीपल मस्ट वर्क विद व्हाइट पीपल आज नो वन कैन मार्च अ लोन सो दीज आर दी एग्जैक्ट वर्ड एक्चुअली फाइव स्कोर इयर्स अगो एक स्कोर का मतलब होता है ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी हंड्रेड Five scores years ago, a great American, in whose symbolic shadow we stand today, of course, he is talking about Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Slaves को आजाद करने के लिए sign किया था. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared uh, in the flames of withering injustice. अभी तक जितना भी injustice face किया था, उसके लिए होप दी गई थी एक सौ साल पहले इट केम एज अ जॉयस डे ब्रेक टू एंड द लॉन्ग नाइट ऑफ देर कैप्टिविटी बट हंड्रेड इयर्स लेटर द नीग्रो स्टिल इज नॉट फ्री वन हंड्रेड इयर्स लेटर द लाइफ ऑफ द नीग्रो स्टिल सैडली क्रिपल बाय द मेनिकल्स शेकल्स हथकड़ी ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन एंड द चेंज ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन so king begins the speech by reminding the audience by reminding all the people standing over there that it is a century five scores here 100 years since the great american abraham lincoln signed the emancipation freedom proclamation 
This ensured the freedom of the African slaves. Slaves ki freedom to ho gai ensured. But black Americans sun ka kya? Black Americans are still not free. King points out because of racial segregation and discrimination. Racial segregation, discrimination, abhi bhi agar ho rahe hain, then what is the use of this emancipation proclamation? If you will uh, search Google regarding the history of uh, admissions in university, you will find out that blacks were not allowed to get admissions in universities by around 1950s. 1950, when America had a progress in America, blacks were not allowed to get admissions in So, how can we talk proclamation, emancipation proclamation? Ki baat kar sakte? So, further he says, now is the time to make the real promises of democracy. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Darkness say sunlight ki taraf aana bahut zaruri hai, racial injustice ko end karna bahut zaruri hai. Now is the time to lift our nation from the quick sands of racial injustice to the solid rock of brotherhood. Sab ko equal treat kiya jai, bhai chara ho ek tabhi to asli progress kehlaegi. Now is the time to make justice a reality for all of God's children. By using this phrase, all of God's children, he is saying that God has made everyone equal. Here, on the basis of race, on the basis of color, there are so many segregations. Further, he says, we cannot be satisfied. As long as a Negro in Mississippi cannot vote, and a Negro in New York believes he has nothing for which to vote. Again, ya to aapke paas voting right hi nahi because you are black. Ya phir agar hai bhi kahi par to aapko aisa lagta hai ki aapke liye to kuch kiya hi nahi ja raha why to vote. Aisi feel na ho, wahi achcha hai. No, no, we are not satisfied and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Justice jab tak pani ki tarah behta hua ek free flow ke saath hum tak nahi aata hum kabhi bhi satisfy nahi honge ab shuru hote hain unke wo famous words jiski wajah se is speech ko ye naam mila i have a dream i have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted every hill and mountain shall be made low the rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. To make aisa din dekhna chahata hoon jab is dunia se kisi bhi tarikhe ke segregations, kisi bhi tarikhe ki partiality khatam ho jayegi. Metaphorically wo keh rahe hain ki geographically ye difference thik ho jayega. Sare hills jo hain wo thode se low ho jayenge, sare uh, rough places jo hain wo thode se plain ho jayenge. Jo bhi God ki glory hai, jo bhi God's ki blessing hai, wo har human being ko equal milegi. And when this happens and when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, hamlet is a form of village, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up the day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. So, we are saying that everything will not be done until every small town, every small city, every small state, every small town, 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 आस पास के सभी लोग एक साथ आ जाते हैं बीट ब्लैक बीट वाइट बी इट ज्यू बीट द पर्सन ऑफ एनी रिलीजन प्रोटेस्टेंट और कैथोलिक सब लोग एक साथ अपने हाथ मिलाते हैं चाहे वो बिलीव किसी भी चीज में करते हो लेकिन फ्रीडम सबको है राइट right सबके लिए इक्वल है दैट विल बी कॉल्ड द रियल फ्रीडम फ्री एट लास्ट फ्री एट लास्ट हमारी ये स्पीच इसको हमने नाम दिया है और बहुत ही पॉपुलरली इसको कहा जाता है आई हैव अ ड्रीम ऑल्दो जब डिलीवर की गई थी तब कोई टाइटल नहीं था बट दिस बिकम्स द मोस्ट फेमस फ्रेज ऑफ द स्पीच ऑल्दो मार्टिन ल्यूथर किंग स्पीच हैज बिकम नोन बाय द रिपीटेड फोर वर्ड फ्रेज आई 
have a dream which stresses the personal nature of his vision unka sapna tha ye his speech is truly about a shared dream for a healthier and more equal america lekin ye sapna sirf unka sapna nahi hai unhone sapna dekha hai har us insaan ke liye har america ke us insaan ke liye jinke sath koi na koi discrimination ho raha hai so he wants a shared dream for the healthier and more equal america which is not only common for many black americans aur yahan par bhi wo sirf black americans ke bare mein nahi soch rahe wo keh rahe ki har ek aisa insaan jo kahi na kahi identify karta hai is baat ko manta hai ki kisi tarike ka injustice kisi tarike ki segregation kisi tarike ka discrimination ho raha hai so this is a fight not for a particular race not for me although i have a dream but this is not my fight this is fight for everyone who is facing any kind of racial injustice any kind of segregation any kind of discrimination so that is it for this part of the video you may join the classes to cover all the topics in detail you can click the link given in description to get connected to us for admission once again best of luck to everyone for your upcoming examination